I asked strangers on Discord to tweak my gaming laptop to get more FPS. Okay, so the first tweak comes from Sai, and he says to download this new NVIDIA driver, 537.58 drivers, which should be the best and most latest one for Fortnite. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this new NVIDIA driver. This should definitely help with my FPS just because I haven't updated my laptop's driver in a long time. Okay, so we can go ahead and just download this, click on Express press click next not sure why this specific drivers is the best one all right so the graphics driver just finished installing hopefully that boosts my fps but let's move on to the next tweak which is from gory and he says to use task scheduler basically disables a lot of random stuff and apparently it's really easy to use as well so let's go ahead and go into our task scheduler okay so i have task scheduler opened up and basically you want to go into task scheduler library and actually over here you guys can see there is a bunch of tasks that's just running and apparently he's just telling me to disable the ones that i don't want to use also something pretty cool i see over here it tells you when each task is actually turned on so i actually have a lot of random stuff that i don't use so let's go ahead and just disable a bunch of stuff razor cortex disable park control disable i'm pretty sure the rest of these stuff are actually like important so i'm gonna just leave it there and there we go we just disabled a bunch of random tasks so let's move on to the next tweak which is from manson and he says he disabled a ton of services that boost his fps so let's go ahead and go into our services here we have the services tab as you guys can see we just have like a ton of services literally just running pretty sure windows only use around like 25 to 50 services so the rest is literally just applications that you have downloaded and i actually use my laptop a decent amount so there's definitely a lot of applications that's running a lot of stuff but right off the bat the first thing you guys want to disable is just like all these xbox stuff doubt anyone even uses any of these stuff if you actually do use the xbox services you guys can just leave it there and actually i have it all disabled which is actually really good so now i can just go ahead and disable other stuff first off i'm seeing a lot of razor stuff going on i literally don't have a razor mouse or keyboard so let's go ahead and just stop all these services from running we have like razor synapse which i haven't used in a long time go ahead and disable all that stuff most of these stuff are really hardware demanding so you just want to make sure to disable it now another thing that i've shown before is sys main which is right over here you guys want to go ahead and disable this disable there we go and it's different for everyone but basically just find things that are running that you guys don't want to be running you guys want to go ahead and just disable a lot of stuff that's in the background all right so it looks like i'm good for the services now let's move on to the next tweak which is from virgo he says a reliable tweak is just updating your game user settings and verifying your fortnite files so my laptop doesn't even have any updated game user settings but i'm pretty sure i verify a lot of the files for fortnite because Fortnite updates frequently on this laptop. Let's first start off with the game user settings. Keyboard press Windows and R. Type in percent local app data percent. Now you guys want to find Fortnite. Go into the save file. Go into the config file. Go into Windows client file. You guys should see game user settings right here. And I'm actually running a non-optimized settings. So what you guys basically want to do do is join my discord server which has the newest game user settings basically what you guys want to do is just download this game user settings now back into our files you want to delete the old game user settings and then go ahead and just drag in the updated game user settings and from there click on properties and click on read only click ok and there we go now we have the updated game user settings which is actually really helpful for fps boost just because a lot of people actually just run like the default setting now let's move on to the next tweak which is from desi decky i'm not sure if i said your name correctly but he says to use the chris titus tool I've literally shown this tool a bunch of times on my channel before i'm not sure if he's talking about the ultimate windows utility tool or he's talking about the one tool for everything i'm pretty sure he's talking about the one tool for everything though so basically you guys just want to copy in this command over here so go ahead into our powershell make sure to run it as administrator it won't work if you guys don't run it as administrator so from there you just want to paste in the command we just copied click okay it should take a few seconds but basically an application will pop up just like that now this thing is definitely really helpful for starters since first of all you don't need to download anything and second of all we just have like a bunch of stuff in this tool 
the most important thing is the recommended selection where you guys click on standard and it basically just checks a bunch of essential tweaks you guys should be running we have like deleting temporary files disabling telemetry disabling hibernation running disk cleanup basically just cleaning out your window also running a bunch of essential tweaks for you and down here under performance plan we also have add and activate ultimate performance plan and then you guys go into your power options in power options you guys should see chris titus's ultimate power plan plan which is way better than high performance power plan and then from there once you have the tweaks you want to use click on run tweaks and then we should be good to go all right taking a look at the fps i get in game now you guys can kind of see i'm getting around like 360 fps which is definitely a lot more the laptop itself is still really powerful it's just i never tweaked that at all 22 this guy's one shot dead let's go okay i'm dead now this guy's definitely chasing me yep he's right here hold up 46 this guy's low dead let's go full box you're dead buddy you're dead cracked of course he ran bro of course who's this guy edit 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 full box wait i box this guy edit first try ready no way this guy's running away Get out the car, bro. Get out the car, bro. I dare you get out the car. Yeah, get out the car, my guy. Now you're dead. GG's. This laptop is actually pushing to around 450 FPS. Like, that's actually crazy. What the heck? This guy's box himself in metal. Edit, 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 edit. Please, please just edit. 56. Damn, this guy got amazing freaking ping. For shy. No way I didn't get that. Wait, he got out. What the heck? For shy, ready? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Thank you. Cracked. Full box. Dead. Let's go. Easy, bro. No way. I can't edit that. F I can't. What the? F Yo. Full box. Edit. Nice. 90. First try. Crack. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. This guy's low. This guy's low. Edit that. Edit. Of course, bro. Oh my god. He's one. He's one. He's one. No, no, no. no. You're not getting away. We only got eight builds. No way. Edit, 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 please. There we go. There we go. Let's go. GG's. There's like six guys here with freaking jetpacks, bro. What do I even do? Like, actually. This guy just flying around and shit. Bro, what the... What am I looking at? 40? Bro, what the... Full box? Box is freaking jetpack... Oh, of course, bro. Who is this guy? Crack. Dead. Wait, it's not my wall. Metal it. Okay, perfect. Bro, what the? How did this guy get in? How did this guy get in my box? I swear I had a... There's no way. There's no way.